she couldn't see, you know, she couldn't see. And for sure it was done. Our, our prayers were answered through the doctors that we met. She tried to go to the hospital, to the eye clinic, and she told me that they just gave her some eye ointments, which even made it worse. Mm. Her eyes were red and she wore, it, they were sore, and it was just a nightmare for her. Then. After suffering from cataracts for almost 20 years, a 71-year-old Zambian woman visits her daughter in America and hopes that somehow physicians here will help her regain her sight. Mumba and daughter Gladys Hamankuli went from doctor to doctor seeking help for the uninsured Mumba. Their journey ended here in Gadsden at Northeast Alabama Eye Surgery Clinic. Mumba was placed under the care of Dr. Tony Catanzaro, who attempted to provide Mumba with a gift, the gift of sight. The surgery would cost a considerable expense out of pocket. But the physicians and vendors who supply tools for the surgery opted to make the gift a free gift. Tell her we can go to the Lord in prayer just for a second. Lord, we just ask you to look over this eye, protect it, keep it from complication. Your name we pray. Amen. Good to see you. Thank you. There we go. The procedure is called cataract extraction with phaco emulsification. We remove the patient's natural lens. A cataract is actually when the patient's natural lens becomes dark and cloudy for different reasons. Age is usually the cause of it, but diabetes and other factors can cause it. And so what we do is remove the natural lens and replace it with an artificial lens. It's an acrylic lens. It goes in exactly the same place the natural lens was. And the um, eye accepts it as part of, the, part of the body. It'll start forming cells around it and it actually adheres to the lens and makes it part of the body. On March 17th, after about 15 minutes in surgery, Mumba is released to the recovery room and listens to instructions on how to care for her eyes. The second surgery was performed March 31st. Thank you. Are you so excited? After both surgeries were completed, Mumba rejoined her daughter at her home in Birmingham. The family discussed plans for the rest of her year in the U.S. Mumba will return to Africa in November. <laughs> She's saying um, she was scared. She wasn't sure because she thought if when they make her sleep, she won't wake up. Mm -hmm. Because she has heard stories, of course, that mm -hmm. I have a young yeah. sister to my, my, my dad. She died on the operating table some time back, mm -hmm. when, when they, like 30 years ago. Yeah. So it's all those stories that she was like scared. <laughs> yes, she's saying uh, she, she wasn't seeing them close. She didn't know them very well because 
you know, like the big ones. But they, they, like BJ and Gatu, they would come, they would sit close to, to her. But the third one, uh, CJ, uh, Chijona, he, he wouldn't come very close. So the young one, sometimes she would grab him to say, come, so that she could look at her yeah. closely. So that's how she used to do it. She told her children at home that she had surgery. They were screaming, they couldn't believe. Are you sure she can see? I said, no, it's just this one eye. That was like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> All I can tell you is this left eye can see, you know. They were saying, no, no, we can't believe our, our, our mother to see because, you know, she, she does farming. Yeah. From the way it started, we just said, oh, oh my, that, that was our hope. And then it was taken further, you know, Dr. Feist, you know, it's, it's just the mm. Lord's uh, providence that he had Mubarata. all those uh, mm -hmm. uh, connections and there it was done. And really, we have no words for them, but just to thank them. Yeah. Mm -hmm.